WBA welterweight champion Jamal Shango James takes on undefeated contender Rad Zabutayev Saturday. And here with me to talk about the upcoming fight, his training, and everything in between, Jamal James himself. First of all, great to see you. And should I call you Shango or should I call you Jamal? Uh, whatever you're comfortable with. Either or is fine with me. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Well, I do want to ask you, what is the story behind that name, Shango? Yeah, I got Shango. Actually, I adopted that from my grandfather. My grandfather was from Trinidad and Tobago, and then he moved to Minnesota and started a music group called Shangoya, which was kind of like a Calypso reggae style group. And um, some years back, you know, he passed away, but to kind of keep... Uh, that connection with that side of my family and stuff. I took the name Shango and, and Shango comes from African, uh, like beliefs and spiritual, spiritual stuff. And it's like, it's like the African Thor pretty much. It's got a fire, lightning, thunder dance and all that. And that's everything I bring to the ring. So I thought it was perfect, a perfect fitting. Certainly meaningful to bring a piece of your family with you every single time that you step in the ring and in the midst of training, um, you're also working with your dad, you're working with your brother each and every week. So tell me what it's like to have that family dynamic training day in and day out. Yeah, I mean, in this career, it's, it's perfect, you know what I mean? Because you want to have somebody you could trust in your corner when you're competing and when you're training and stuff. Um, so, you know, those guys know me the best. They push me and know how hard to push me when to, you know, when I might need a rest or something like that. Um, so, you know, I've trained with them and my whole life, obviously I've been coached and training with them my whole life and it's taken me this far. So I'm going to continue to do it. How did your dad get you, or did, I, I guess, was it your dad that got you involved at an early age? Uh, my mom, my mother did actually, she's the one that kind of brought me down wow. to the gym and the organization. And then, uh, you know, the circle, which is the organization that I train out of kind of adopted me in there as a second family. And I've been with them ever, ever since. And then, uh, you know, we got to be more of a family engagement down there. And now I'm here with it. Obviously a, a very successful career already. And in the midst of all this training, you're also involved in a program you founded called Pursuit of Discipline, where you speak each week to kids and young adults. So tell me a little bit more about that. Yeah, yeah. It's a leadership group uh, that's part of the Circle of Discipline. And um, it's basically kind of like, you know, uh, infor information mentoring style type of group. And I run it with my uh, my brother, Rebel Tekle, and a uh, uh, volunteer and good friend, uh, Kellen, Kellen Jacobson. I forgot his last name for a second. But we work with young men and women, and we talk about things that you don't get taught in school or at home, like uh, for some of the older young men and women, you know, financial literacy and discipline um work ethic and you know how to uh, you know resume building and stuff like that uh for some of the younger ones from 8 to 13 we talk about the importance of being responsible you know um how to you know be humble how to deal with peer pressure and you know why it's important to obviously uh stay focused in school and not kind of run with the crowd and certain things you know and then we also have a lot of guest speakers and take them on uh, field trips and stuff like that. So they can kind of get, uh, you know, some face to face time with people who have run their own businesses or and it's very successful in whatever career they're, they're in, like doctors or lawyers, whatever like that. What inspired you to start that program back in 2017? Well, it's kind of something that's always been down at the circle, but it was never like a program, you know. So at the circle, we had many other programs and amateur boxing was one of our biggest program. And it was a way that we can kind of reach young men and women and help them build confidence as well as instill discipline in them um, so they can be successful in life and kind of not get caught up in some of the traps of the streets, you know. And a lot of times after our exercise or workout, we would all just kind of sit around and just, you know, kind of talk. And, and a lot of the older guys would, you know, just kind of drop knowledge. And that would, you know, that I took at least with me my whole life. And I'm sure a lot of other uh, young guys and girls did as well. But as our organization grew and we started getting, you know, more and more uh, kids down there and adults, um, 
once we taught a class, we kind of had to push them out and get ready for the next class. So we were kind of missing that hang around time where we were able to have those type of discussions. So I thought it'd be perfect if we just created an actual group where we can specifically just talk about different topics each week and have those discussions. And it can be, uh, you know, it falls under the circle, but it's its own program as well. So, you know, uh, young men and women who aren't wanting to come down there to work out, but just kind of want to come down there to talk and do that group uh, can feel welcomed and just do that. Sounds like something that you're really passionate about. Yeah, I mean, I'm passionate about the whole organization. You know what I mean? Um, that group is just something that uh, I like because, you know, I, I kind of started it up with my brother and stuff, but uh, the whole organization uh, does great work, you know what I mean, with not only just young men and women, but adults as well and helps them kind of get their life on the right track. Finally, I hear wedding bells in the distance. Your wedding is scheduled shortly after your fight, November 27th, and are all 10, for people who don't know, you have 10 brothers. Are they gonna be standing at your side that day? Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. You know what I mean? Um, and then, you know, we're really just gonna do a quick ceremony, then we're just gonna have a big party, you know what I mean? And um, I've been with my lady, uh, Marley Dorsey, for a long, long time, and it's about time for us to tie the knot and, uh, you know, uh, enter that next journey within our lives together. Well, I am so excited for you and excited to see your match this weekend, and I want to thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. No, thank you for having me. Appreciate it. James versus Butayev is this Saturday, October 30th at 10 p.m. Eastern. You can stream it live on Showtime. I'm Katie Johnston for CBS Local News.